All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install the uh, Cadex Vista system to the Kip RC Crocodile Baby. This will also work for pretty much any system that's going to be using the Vista. You'll be able to, uh, you know, look at these instructions and sort of modify them for whatever drone you're putting them in. So lately, uh, these long-range micro drones here, these four-inch uh, versions seem to be very popular, especially these Vistas are, are pretty hard to find, especially these ones with the DJI camera. And because of that, uh, Flywoo and GepRC are offering models that have basically everything that's in it uh, ready to go, except for the Vista. So you have to either have uh, buy one of these separately and add it, or you have to pull it off of some other drone that already has a Vista and add it. And and once you do that, you'll have pretty much the same drone as the plug and play or the bind and fly. And in this case here, um, this crocodile baby uh, comes with everything. As I said, just like it will come um, as a bind and fly, it even comes with the GPS, comes with the custom uh, antenna here. I don't, it's a GEP RC branded antenna. Yeah, it's left hand circular polarized. And it even comes with the uh, buzzer uh, with the uh, lost model alarm battery so it's got the battery back up on there and so i'm not exactly sure how the flywoo version is set up for this in terms of adding your invest i think it's probably going to be pretty similar and you just have to solder on the basically six wires for the vista if you're using the dji controller and if you're using a, a separate receiver it might be a little bit different so i just want to show you guys um, how this looks basically take the top plate off here and loosen these two screws in the back and then there's four screws uh, for the standoffs here these two here and these two here so this for these two standoffs and these two standoffs here and then this will slide off and then you can see how the top plate already has the nylon screws and nuts and uh, rubber grommet spacers for the Vista so basically when you're ready to put the Vista on here after you've done the soldering just loosen up these nuts and we'll slide the Vista on here and then put the top plate back on and put the screws back in. So putting it back together is going to be fairly straightforward. So let's set this aside. I'm not going to be using the stock Vista antenna because it, uh, you want you, you do want to probably use the longer antenna here anyway to keep the, um, uh, the active element away from the rest of the frame. That's what these are for, especially if you're going further away. And you can see the Antenna connector is somewhere right, right here, micro FL as well. So that's going to go to that connector where on the Vista where uh, the uh, stock antenna would go. And I've already pulled it off of here. So for the uh, connections that you want to be aware of here, they've taken the wires and they've bundled them up. So uh, you can see this little bundle of four wires. You have a red, black, and a white, and a yellow. The white and the yellow, they go to the board right here. And the white is T1, the yellow is R1. That's for UART1. And then the red and the black, they go to the battery lead here where the capacitor is. That's the red and the black there. That's for battery power going to the Vista. And then um, uh, for the other two, for the... Uh, receiver connection you can use the ground and the white wire here that is on the servo connector for SBUS. So if you have like a XM plus receiver or some SBUS receiver that has inver an inverted connection then the white wire there is connected to UR2 and that's an inverted SBUS pad so that'll work for the Vista and like any kind of free sky uh, uh, receiver that has the inverted S bus. Now, if you want to do something else instead, um, and we do crossfire instead, you can basically still use the uh, ground and the five volts here, but then you want to use the T2 and the R2 here for your crossfire on UR2, and then basically move the white wire over from this inverted R2 to the uninverted R2 over here, and then you can use T T2 here for the crossfire. Now for me, I'm going to use the DJI controller. I'm not going to actually add crosswire to this one. So I don't need this extra red wire here. I just need the white wire and the black wire. And I'll show you where I'm going to install that on the Vista here momentarily. Now for some of this other stuff here, I just want to show you because it's, I just haven't had this open. Um, the GPS here is actually on a soft serial. So this 
board here is it's a Mateka 411 board, only has two hard UARTs, and so the GPS is going on a soft serial. So it's got these four wires here, the green, white, red, and black are for the GPS. And you can see that the green wire is attached right here to this component. That apparently is one of the UARTs um, on the soft serial. That's, there's some, probably some um, uh, resource remapping going on on the flight controller. I'm not going to get into that in this video. So I'm just showing this to you guys that might be interested in this. And then the white wire for the GPS is uh, right, let me get this out of the way. White wire is right there. And that is the LED pad. And again, some resource remapping is going on here to create that soft zero for the GPS. And then you have this uh, bundle of wires here for the lost model alarm. So you have yellow uh, power and ground for the buzzer. That goes to the buzzer pads here for that. So in terms of where the wire, these wires here for the Vista will go on the actual Vista, let me just show this to you. And there's a lot of videos already out there that explain how to wire up a Vista. Um, a little bit tricky. So this is the basically the bottom side here. The wires are going to go on the underside and uh, in the lighting in here is a bit tricky. So basically this pad over here is the S-Bus pad. So that's going to be the white wire going to uh, inverted R2. Then you have ground here. Then this one here is the TX pad. So that's going to go to the RX pad on the flight controller. Or in, in, our, in our case, and uh, for this it's going to be R1. And then this is the RX pad here. That's going to go to T1 or UR1, T1. And then this is ground here for the power. And then here is the uh, battery voltage. So that's going to be the black wire and then the red wire in that four wire bundle. So I'm just going to go ahead and solder up those four or six wires here. And I'm just going to be using the DJI controller for controlling the quad, not a uh, crosswire receiver. So this will be acting as my video and control link. And yeah, I'm, I'm not going to show you how I'm actually doing the solder. I'm just going to actually wire it up as I explained and I'll show you how this goes together. It's going to be pretty simple once you've done the six wires for soldering. All right, so it took about five minutes to wire this up and you can see here the white wire and the black wire here that I have going to the Vista. So I, I didn't desolder those. Those are just all under the, I desoldered the red wire here, the uh, five volts for the receiver that I'm not going to be using and I cut off that servo connector. And so the white wire for the S-Bus goes to the S-Bus pad here. That's the signal ground over here next to the S-Bus pad. The yellow wire here is the TX on the Vista, and that's going to R1 on the flight controller. The white wire here is uh, T1 on the flight controller, and is going to RX here on the Vista. And then we have the ground that's going to the battery lead here, ground, and then the power for uh, the red wire here for voltage. That is also going to the battery lead right there as well. And that is pretty much it. So all of the rest of the setup in terms of beta flight is um, already ready to go. It's set up for SBUS in the uh, configurator. Um, if you want to change the receiver type to Crossfire, obviously if you change, if you do the different wiring here on on UR2, then you're gonna have to change it for whatever receiver you have, whether you have Crossfire, Spectrum, FreeSky, etc. You do need to make those adjustments in the uh, flight controller, but if it's just the DJI set up like this, um, it should be just ready to go. Uh, GPS is already set up as well, and it was actually working. Although GPS Rescue um, didn't look like it was set up, so I'm going to have a separate video when I actually review the Crocodile BB, and I'll show you what changes I made, if any. Uh, it's probably going to be my standard GPS Rescue setup that I did for all the other previous videos on these 4-inch micro long range, but yeah, it's, um, you know, putting the, this uh, together here, shouldn't be too hard so I pulled off those nuts on these um, screws here and I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and put this together
All right, so that ought to do it. Um, just gotta make sure I took away these wires. And then I get them in the way. Obviously put the screws back on here. And then I'll need to screw in the camera. Uh, but that's about it. And we're pretty much ready to go. And I'll obviously have another video on the Crocodile Baby in the full review later. So stay tuned for that.